Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we're filming one of our favorite videos to film. This is Snack Crate. This is Snack Crate. We love Snack Crate. Yeah. Snack Crate is a monthly subscription box that we've been getting for a while now. Uh, in fact, so long we're starting to get some repeats, but that's okay. We still enjoy doing this. So once a month it runs us about 20 25 bucks shipped yeah. so um there's always a greeting on the box that gives you a hint about where it came from that's it and this one says bonjour so We've, i mean obviously it could be france yeah, yeah obviously <laughs> but the last time we had that it was canada yeah and recently we got another Spain box and we've had that before so I'm gonna guess Canada here's the thing I'm torn I'd really like to try snacks from France or get a different box yeah but also we heart Canada so very much and miss being able to go there and so the things that we don't know that we're missing out on from a possible France box I know what we could get from a possible Canadian box <laughs> and that makes me kind of root for Canada because I'm hoping I'm hoping for ketchup flavored chips <laughs> and maybe something maple oh definitely and, something and maple who knows who knows so let's see where this is from Let's go for the big reveal. Show them first. I'm not going to let you look. Yeah, show them. <gasps> Canada! Canada! <laughs> That's Yay! Exciting. Sorry, France. We really want to try snacks from there as well, and I'm sure we will at some point. But also, I really am excited. I really am excited oh, about this. I'm really what? excited about this. Oh, no. Oh, my this gosh. Right on the top. <laughs> Right on the top. My sweet baby. This is not good box for me. Ketchup chips and creamy dill pickle. I can hear Becca's mama from here who lives Bam. in Canada. I can hear her cackling uh, at the idea of this. Yeah, so let's get all the stuff out. Yay, coffee crisp. Let's get all the stuff out. All the thrills good. So... We have went to Canada on vacation um, and we brought back several things. We still dream of the crisps that we had on that little trip. Oh yeah. We cannot wait to go back. So a couple a couple of these things we've tried. A couple of these things we've tried before. Happy to try again. Let's do savory to sweet. Is there anything else savory? Um, nope. Okay. Unless you count that thrill scum. <laughs> okay. All right. Your choice, creamy dill pickle or ketchup? Might as well get the dill pickle out of the way. Covered bridge chips. The classic potato chip crunch you know and love with a Canadian twist. This savory snack is dusted with a tangy and creamy dill pickle flavoring. Ooh! First of all, this smells amazing. Like you're gonna hate and you're gonna hate it. Second of all, this is not how I pictured they were gonna look. No? Look at them. Don't smell it yet, but look at them. Mmm, okay. They're very um very like dark. Like, like compared hand, to what I thought. Yeah. Or, you know, like uh, home homemade. You go, babe. Oh, oh no, that's way, way dill pickly. This is no reflection on John's love for Canada. It's for no. his disdain for pickles. Ready? Mm. Cheers. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> No, I don't like it. You know what's so funny? Is we are so polar opposite. Uh, we're alike in most ways, but completely polar opposite on pickles. I love pickles and all things pickle flavored. John 
hates it. Just like we are with spicy and mild. <laughs> Completely opposite. I love these. Nice crunch. Mm-hmm. Those are great. What does John hate? Almost as much as uh, pickles. Ketchup. Ketchup. What else don't you like? Mmm. Mustard. Oh. And condiments in general. We are whisper people as far as condiments go. And a lot of times, like, even on a hot dog or something, you won't use ketchup. We use, like, squeezy cheese or or we have sauerkraut or something else. You just don't eat ketchup on, like, you'll eat mayonnaise on a BLT or a couple of things. You don't eat ketchup on anything, do you? Nope. I don't eat a lot of ketchup I mean, in either. recipes and stuff, but... Every once in a while, I want to dip my fries in ketchup, and that's the only thing I eat ketchup on, but I love ketchup chips and the last time we went that's what I really wanted and I had to fight him he really didn't want to get ketchup <laughs> chips do you remember that I said we're in yeah. Canada and we're getting chips we're getting oh, ketchup like, mm. yeah they're not bad though definitely had these before mm -hmm. much 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 Whoa. much better than those pickle things much better much better mm. I don't understand why ketchup chips are so hard to find here. Everybody knows that like french fries and ketchup are a thing. So that just makes sense. Right. Crisps and ketchup. So I don't understand. I mean, we can get them here every once in a while, but they're they are hard to find here. Yeah. They are. Yum. Um look, they have a nice poutine recipe on the card. Mm, we've made a version of poutine, but I think we might make another. And if you get Snack Crate Plus, they add a drink into it. And Do if we not go... break my heart right now. <laughs> if it's like some kind of maple soda, my head might pop off. It is not, but okay. it is Crush Cream Soda. Mmm. I love cream soda. That would have really been a, bo a, a box that you would have hated. <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of cream soda either. Okay, so, right. so crisps out of the way. Should we rank them? Yes, yes. Which one would, if you had to eat the, oh, you would pick ketchup. If you had to eat the rest of one of them. Uh, number one for me and uh, number two or otherwise known as last. I like them both so much. Can't I just eat all the rest of all yes, of them? Yes, <laughs> you can. Yes, um, you may. But if I had to choose a winner, like dollar in a vending machine, I can only get one. You're getting the pickle chips, aren't you? Probably. Into the pickle chips. It depends on my mood. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on my mood. I'm not always in the mood for pickles. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could eat this all the time. So I think I'm going ketchup. Whoa. Well, surprise, surprise. All right, now fruity stuff. Okay. The stuff uh, seems real nice. What is this? Oh, that's banana. This is Maynard's. Okay, this has got to be fruity, right? Yeah, I would think so. We'll end with the sucker and the thrills gum. Yeah, for sure. Okay, what's this? Sour brats. They look very similar to sour patch. Where are you, sour brats? Right there. <laughs> I don't see them listed here, so we'll just have to give our own impression. We should say hello and welcome if you're new to our channel. Hello. Please subscribe while you're here. I'll put a link for you down in the comment section. And make sure that you hit the little bell. Ding. So you can be notified when our new videos go up. It's every day. Just never know how many or what time. I don't really want all this stuff to come out. What These color? These not be pickle flavor. What color would you like? Oh, I'll try the orange. Okay, then I don't have to keep digging. Thanks. Let's see how sour. Now, this is gonna be extra sour, I think, after tasting something like so vinegary, don't you think? It'll be extra puckery. Oh, Ready? I'm sure. Go. Mmm. Mmm. 
Not so much. Mm mm. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. That's good. Like I was uh, surprised that it wasn't sour. Thanks. <laughs> but I really like the flavor. They're sweet. Mm-hmm. I originally thought they were super hard. Yeah, and they're not. But the they're texture not. is awesome. Mm -hmm. There's a little hint of like tanginess, but it's not like Sour Patch Kids at all. There's no, no pucker. Uh, there's, you know, like I said, a little hint. Those are phenomenal. And like I said, the texture. Very good. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. I do have the Maynards. Bear paws. Mm. No, that's not it. Juicy squirts berry. Just a squirt. I like the sound of bear paws better than juicy squirts. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of this one. Time. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Right. These soft and snackable berry flavored gummies are loaded with a sweet splash of fruit flavor. Ugh, I can each smell them. Every bite. I can. Can you smell them? Oh yeah. They smell amazing. I'm gonna go Ooh. this color. I know. I already know. I'm gonna like these. I can tell by how they smell. Mmm. Mmm. Those are amazing. Ooh, I like these. Me too. Mm. <laughs> mm mm. Should we make a TikTok of like popping them? You know how that's mm -hmm. like popular. Not popping candy is not necessarily popular on TikTok, Just, but you know, popping, popping in things. general. Things that nobody wants to see. You know what I hate about TikTok? Sidebar. Is that bef before you realize what you're looking at, you've already seen it. <laughs> you can't unsee it. Unsee it you know what I mean? So yeah. that kind of stuff pops up on your phone and you're like, dang it. I wish I hadn't seen that, but I did. Right next. And you have to go back and watch it again. No. All right, so that's... What is, oh, this is a bear paw. Yeah, that's the bear paw. But that's the fruity stuff that we have in today's that's it? box. Okay. Oh, so we have to pick one? Yes. Mm, I don't want to. <laughs> well, you have to. Um, it's the rules. To tell you the truth... All right, I'm picking this one. That's my order because yep, we can get Sour Patch Kids and other sour candy. They're different than this, um, but these are so soft. And then there is like juice that comes out when you chew on it. Mm -hmm. Those are so nice. Yeah, yep. they're really good. I like yep, yep, that. Yep. That's my order as well. Okay, see you later. So we'll put this over yonder. All right, we got the bear paws. You want to do that? I don't know, because that says banana. All right. I, I kind of want to go like plain flavor, I think. Okay. And okay. Oh, well, you know. can't have the so Henry, can you? No. I love Ooh, you can't have this maple sucker, can you? No. How about this thrills gum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all yours. All right. Smarties we've had before. For sure. Smarties. If you've never had them, they're similar-ish to M&M's. That's the Similar. closest thing that we have. Look at the colors, so pretty. Smarties, a long time favorite in Canada. I can not get one. These chocolatey candy, chocolate candies are covered in a brightly colored yeah. sugar coating, making them the perfect on the go snack. Mm -hmm. I remember feeling the same way the last time I tried them. I know they're huge. I know they're a thing. They're not my favorite. Mm -mm. Guess what though? M&Ms aren't either. No. What would you prefer between Smarties or M&Ms? Mm -hmm. M&Ms, I think. Me too. I think it's only because that's what we grew up on. That's what we're used to, whatever. But we never buy M&Ms unless we have to for this channel. It's just not our favorite no. thing. I don't hate them. If I were, let's say we're doing on a scale of one to 10, I would maybe give these like a seven and a half, maybe a seven. You know, they're just not my favorite kind of candy. They're okay, yeah. but it's plain chocolate. Yeah. The can Here's what I'll tell you. The candy shell has more slash better flavor than M&Ms, I think. 
I think so too. It's thicker. Mm -hmm. It seems thicker. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if they had the shell and then the M&M's chocolate, I think I would like that better. Mm -hmm. All right then. What do you want to do the caramel? Mm, sure. All right. Can I do the caramel? Sure. Cadbury Caramel, one of the oldest chocolate bars in Canada. This caramel filled treat is made with a recipe that is stored in a carefully guarded Toronto vault. Let's go to Toronto. We'll bring our masks and our <laughs> gear to like Mission Impossible. When we were there before, we went to Winnipeg to see Elton John, and it is one of my favorite trips we've ever taken. It was a lot of fun. We had poutine out for dinner, then we had the concert. Uh, where did we stay in Winnipeg, do you remember? I cannot remember the name of it. Some fancy was place that, downtown. Yeah. Old, like Old, really historic. Fancy. Yeah, it was so nice. We did some thrifting while we were there. Yeah. We went Oops. to a game store and we bought a game while we were in Canada. We always, whenever we travel, try to get a new game. We um, we went and got a tour of the Canadian Mint. We did. We had Tim Hortons an embarrassing oh, awesome. amount of times. Um, it yeah. Was, yeah, it was fun. We really enjoyed it. And then, um, you know, the world shut down. So we can't wait to come back. We would like to maybe see some different parts of Canada. Absolutely. Next time. Caramel. Here's Etcha. Ow. Mmm. Ooh, I love that. Me too. I'm pretty sure we've had it before, but man, something like this, you can have it again and again and again. Mm-hmm. So that Cadbury chocolate just melts, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. And then the caramel. Um, the closest thing I think we have to it is a caramello. Mm -hmm. But the ratio of chocolate to caramel and what the caramel tastes, I mean, and what the chocolate tastes like, the texture of the chocolate from caramello to caramel, completely different. different. But if you've never had a caramel before, that's probably the closest thing I would say we have to it. Yep. Mmm. I could eat that all day. Like, that's dangerous. Mm. Should I try the O. Henry now? Yeah. Oh, Henry! We get all Henry's here. Yeah. This candy bar features crunchy peanuts, creamy caramel, and chewy fudge, all coated in milk chocolate. Nice. We've included either the original or Reese's peanut butter version. <gasps> There's a Reese's peanut butter Oh Henry? Apparently. I'm glad the original's here, though. I am, too, or I'd be <laughs> hound dogging ya. And it looks a little bit like a baby Ruth. Mm hmm I love El Henry so much. I haven't always had a nut allergy, so I remember. Is it terrible and I would hate it? No. <laughs> you would love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Here's right. the thing. That's not the kind of thing that I think if John were, you know, dollar to vending machine, that may not be something that he would pick ordinarily but it's nice to have that reminder those ones that aren't out in front of our faces all yeah. the time like oh yeah don't don't sleep on the old henry bar yeah those yeah, are Yeah, we good. used to have them a lot around um i'm not sure that they're so prevalent anymore they're kind of rare to find but mm -hmm. they're still here yeah yep okay love that delicious next what coffee uh, crisp coffee crisp or? or banana let's oh let's do coffee crisp then i love a coffee we know crisp we like too. this too. This snack features alternating layers of vanilla wafer and delicious coffee flavored cream enveloped in smooth milk chocolate. I remember liking this, but you liking it more than I did because you drink coffee. Yeah. You know, and like it more than I do. I'm gonna bite, okay? Absolutely. Ah! Wafery. Makes me want to have a cup of coffee, and I don't even drink coffee hardly ever. Mmm. Can mm -hmm. we get those here? Have you ever seen one here? No. Mm. This 
it does, it tastes like, you know, chocolate or a, a cookie or, you know, eating something with your cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. It has the same flavor of like, you just ate something and you took a sip of coffee. You know what I think? I don't know if it's a thing, but um, I wonder if they sell little ones because, and of course, I'm not even a coffee drinker, but this is what comes, you know, to mind for me is if you went out to eat, let's say, that they would bring you one of those kind of to finish your meal, oh, yeah. like like kind of how they do with the mint. It feels like a finisher, you know, a little, yeah. little sweet, a little coffee at the same time. I, I really like that more than I like coffee, I think. Weird. <laughs> All right, next. Bear paws. This is a fun box. These soft and chewy cookies will have you second guessing whether or not grandma's banana bread recipe is really as good as you think. Huh. There are a lot of words in there that I did not think were going to be read. Like, I didn't know they were cookies, for one. Um, yeah, or banana bread. They're, yeah, they're flavor. soft, yeah. I don't... I don't smell, it smells like banana bread it more like than it does bread. banana, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was picturing a chocolate with banana in it somehow. I don't know why I thought that yeah, by looking figured, at the packaging. I kind of pictured like a snack cake type thing with like a, mm. maybe a banana filling and mm -hmm. chocolate coated and stuff. Yeah. Or, yeah. These sound great. Mmm. Mmm. I like these very much. It is very, very banana bready. Mm-hmm. You know what? Nope. True confessions. I think I've only made banana bread like once in my life. Hmm. My mom used to make it. My mom did too. I loved it. But that's why I think I haven't made it. My mom, you know, some of her recipes I've improved upon. Let's just say. Um, and some of her recipes, I want it how my mom did it. My mom perfected banana bread, so I think that's no, why. my mom perfected <laughs> I think that's bread. why I've never made it, because I'm afraid it's going to fail. But I feel like banana bread is a pretty simple thing to make. We should make it. This makes me want to make banana bread. Yeah. That's amazing. Very good. Mm-hmm. Wondering if that had nuts in it <laughs> because I had that thought as well. Banana bread commonly has nuts, and so I didn't see any. But here's the thing: I'm doing better with my nut allergy. I've accidentally had things a couple of times on this channel, and we've cut, and I've been fine. But you know, it's always to be safe. That's right. Okay. All right. Now mm. we'll go thrills gum. I remember what this tastes like. Do you? Yes. If you've never had Thrills Gum, well, what does it say about it? We should tell people. Thrills Chewing Gum. It still tastes like soap. That's what it says about yeah. it? That's the motto, I guess. Oh. It is a strange but endearingly Canadian description for this rose water flavored chewing gum. I don't love rose water. But I remember thinking that this was okay. There was something... I don't know, like mouth cleansing about it or something that I liked. Oh. It tastes like perfume. Um, I mean, it's okay. I can get, I got used to it. The first chew. First chew like, is rough. <laughs> rough. But mm -hmm. the more you go with it, the mm -hmm. better off it is. But I don't hate it. But let's be honest. If I'm going to chew a piece of gum... I'm probably gonna pick, you know, I, I'm a spearmint gum, you know. Yeah. That's what I like, that's what I get. I wouldn't choose that over spearmint, but it's okay and and I'll chew this. I just don't love, love, love it. You know how people used to go to the mall and you'd walk through there and they had those people that would spray perfume at you? And sometimes you'd get it in your mouth? Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, that's what it's like. <laughs> mm. I like it all right, but like I said, I'd never, I'd never choose it. And I know that that's polarizing, even for Canadians. Some love it, some hate it. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of those things like blackjack gum or some of oh, the yeah. other gums, or clove gum. It's love or hate, I think. It's all right for me. It's all right for me. I, I probably wouldn't get it 
I would never, yeah, I would never I would choose never it. it. Yeah. But I will chew that. I like it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Like I said, it's that first bite that's like, whoa. And then, but it's, the more you chew it, the better it is. Now, onto this. We know this is going to be great. I love all things maple. I mean, I love, love all things maple. Maple lollipop. In fact, when we went to Canada, I was forever <laughs> yeah. searching for, I wanted maple donuts, I wanted maple chocolate, I wanted maple everything. How does this open? This quintessentially Canadian treat consists of 100% pure maple syrup. What could, what more could you possibly want? Nothing. From a lollipop. Nothing. I love maple so much. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite flavor. The packaging on the other hand. <laughs> it's childproof. You wanna lick first? Sure. I must really love you. <laughs> Whoops, drop it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> give me. <laughs> give me. Oh, that's so good. Kind of in that form like that, it kind of reminds me of like butterscotch. Mm. There's this candy that I love, and I don't know what it's called, but you got it for me one year for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's little molded maple candy. A lot of times you see them in like leaf shapes or whatever. It is my favorite candy in the world. <laughs> um, it's almost like sugar and I don't know, maybe like corn syrup together, and then it's molded and it has maple syrup and yeah, it's like a mixture between sugar and syrup and stuff. And put it in that mold and... It's so good. It's so, so good. It reminds me of, you know, it's the same flavor, but this is in like a boiled sweet hard candy type. Yeah. So good. Put me a maple syrup on anything and I'll <laughs> eat it. For real. For real, for real. Yes, for real. That'll be for me. Let's talk about we chocolates and yeah, other stuff. Yeah, we're going to rank the chocolates. Um, I guess I'll go first while you're organizing. We don't really things. have to talk about thrills. No. I mean, because it kind of stands on its own. And the maple sucker, we don't have to talk about because that stands on its own. For me, O. Henry's number one. Coffee Crisp, number two. Um, I'm going to go with the caramel as number three. Then these aren't really chocolate, but they're baked stuff. So. Yeah, we'll put it in with this Yeah, stuff. these little, what are they? Banana bread? Bear paws. Things. Yeah, bear paws. And then the smarties. Did I ever tell you that bears are my favorite? I have two wild animals that I consider my favorite. Bears. I love bears. I can watch bear videos for hours. Love, love, love them. The other one's groundhogs. But anyways, I love bears. All things bear. Um, so, oh, Henry, I couldn't try. Um, coffee crisp or caramel milk? I'm going to go caramel milk. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite. Then Coffee Crisp. Then the Bear Pot. I really like these. And they're different than something chocolate. Like, if I were in the mood for this, I might not be in the mood for that or vice versa. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah. Um, and Smarties last only because, you know, if they're plain chocolate, we can get something like that here. <clears throat> Similar-ish. In fact, I feel like I've seen actual Smarties here before. Yeah. Not our kind of Smarties either. This kind of Smarties. Right. Yeah. Um, sometimes we can get them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay, favorite things from the... This is a rough box for you a little bit as far as favorite things. I always love, like, the chips or crisps, you know, and so I'm disappointed that of what we had. But the, <laughs> the, the ketchup ones were good. And the funny thing is, is those are, like, my favorite things from the box. So, um, <laughs> Good. For me, I loved these. So as far as fruity snacks go, these are were these juicy squirt berry things. Oh yeah, those are I delicious. I loved these. I loved these. And you know I loved me some of this. Those are my, those are my tops. Uh, my top so again. Oh, Henry. Um, you love those this too, This thing huh? we're gonna have to fight over. Yeah. These Maynards. What about the maple sucker? Did he hate it and you don't want any more of it? Yeah, I don't want any more of it, but I don't hate it. 
Um, and then the coffee, coffee crisp. Coffee crisp, yeah. That's right up your alley. It's a wafer and coffee that's yeah. like made for you. For sure. Anyway, so time to cut this video so we can go finish the rest of this stuff. Things we're going to fight over for sure are going to be the fruity stuff in this box, I think. The fruity yeah. stuff was amazing. I'll finish the rest of the crisps myself and you, you can have the O. Henry bar. Yeah, you go for and it. And the thrills go. No. no. <laughs> you said you were going to finish it. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I was trying to sneak that by you. Yeah. I'm still getting a little bit of that thrills gum. Like, me too. Yeah, me too. Uh, if you are from Canada or have tried these snacks, we would love to hear what your favorites from this box are. And we can't wait to come visit again. So let us know maybe some of your other favorites that weren't included that we can be on the lookout for. We can get things from Canada a little bit easier than other places in the world. So let us know what we should be on the lookout for or what we should order. We would love to try much more Canadian things. Oh yes. Uh, if you're not following us on social media, please come find us. We are most active on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We also have a little game channel if you're into that sort of thing. Love junk in games. It's mostly video games right now, but soon, very soon, Who knows? we're going to add some board games. We need more hours in the day. That's what we, we have so many ideas and so many things we want to do really for do. this channel, that channel, other channels. We just need more time. So anyways, your support means the world to us. Now, if you love Snack Crate, which we do, yeah. or ketchup chips, or maple things, <laughs> or Canada, or, or us, us, or, or the video. video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.